Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to download and install your own fonts to use on maybe Microsoft Word, Photoshop, or Notepad. So let's get started. Um, this is a site that I've been using for a couple years, defont.com. You can see the link right here. I don't really think I need to put it in the description, but I will. Um, or there's fonts.com. There's a couple of them, but I've been using this one. You know, it's, it's great. Um, but this, it just has a lot of fonts um, and yeah, self-explanatory. Um, on this site, you will notice a lot of familiar fonts that people have made or they're older and people have taken them for their own uses. Um, but I'll just go through the top 100. Um, as you can see, some of them like Bleeding Cowboys, that has been used a little bit. Um, let's see, uh, Birth of a Hero, that one has been used quite a bit. Um, there's also a uh, Walt Disney one, Waltograph. Um, just a lot of stuff. Um, I'll show you some stuff that you can do. You can go up here to themes and you can go by cartoon, comic, groovy, old school, distorted, destroy, fire and ice, decorative, some stencil stuff, retro. And you can go by foreign look, like um, some Arabic stuff. Uh, let's see. See, it'll have it in English, but it looks Arabian. You can also do some cool Russian ones. Um, Let's see. I like this one the best, Kremlin. Looks pretty cool. But anyway, um, there's also techno ones. You can actually get the PS3 font in here. Uh, let's see if we can get it on the first one. It has a very long name that I can't really remember, but it is in here. Uh, let's see. It starts with like an H. There's Pepsi font. Um, Metal Gear Solid. Here we go. It's Homarakan, but it, it's the PS3 or Spider-Man font. Um, it was originally Spider-Man, but just PS3 took it. Um, you know, you got Gothic, you know, not like, you know, death looking, but you know, like the architecture of Gothic. Um, but it is, you know, some of it is like kind of, you know, goth people like, anyway. Uh, there's basic, you know, your basic fonts that come on your computer, script kind, like handwritten ones, or big calligraphy where they spent like all this time on one letter, dingbats, so you get the idea. Um, you can also search for your fonts, and what I find pretty cool is you can actually type in something, so say you want to type in uh, tech informers, and you can go by number of page, you can see the site, you can make the fonts bigger sort by popularity, select submit, and it will put what you put in there like into the font. So as you can see, it says Tech Informers on all of these. And so you could, if you want to design a certain logo, then you could, you know, type it in, see which one looks the best. So it's all up to you on this one, but I will show you how to download and install them. All right, uh, let me go over here to Eroded. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'll go to Chicago House right here. You go over here to download PC slash Mac OS 10, and you just click on that, and it'll open this up. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. And I'm using Google Chrome, so it'll save down here. And you have to extract the files. You can right click on the folder if you see the folder, or you can go in the folder and extract them right here. It'll extract them right to your desktop if you saved it there. But you just like finish and then it will have the true type file. What you need now is to go to your computer, okay, then into local disk C or whatever your name is, then you go to Windows, and then there will be a lot of files, but then you go to fonts, and you will see a lot of those same looking true type things. So you just drag this true type file from the other folder in here, and it'll have that little 100%, it'll load it up, and there you go. Just to uh, prove it, I'll go to Notepad, and I'll go to my format, font, what was it, Chicago House. I'll go up here, Chicago House Trial. Make the font a little big. And let's go 48. And right here. So it's as easy as that. Um, so download them. You got to extract the file and put it in your Windows and just watch the video. So yeah, that's how you do that. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, be sure to enter in the giveaway, uh, or both the giveaways, doesn't really matter. But 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Thanks and bye.